Welcome to Hands-On Unsupervised Learning with Python. My name is Stefan Jensen, and I have been working with data science for over 15 years in various industries, ranging from uh, investment and um, various consumer-facing companies uh, all the way to government policy. Uh, I've been teaching data science for several years, both to people on the technical side as well as business executives. I've uh, been doing most of the data science, at least for the last uh, five, six years, in using Python. And um, I hold quantitative master degrees from Harvard University as well as the Free University of Berlin. And I'm also a CFA charter holder. So let's take a look at what this course has to offer. We will be uh, learning uh, based three large areas um, uh, of unsupervised learning. We'll get started by talking about what the goals of unsupervised learning are and uh, how these various techniques allow you to find better representations of your data that are going to be very useful for many different tasks. We then start with market basket analysis, which uses unsupervised learning to extract rules of association between uh, different items or item sets, which can be groups um, of items that tend to occur together. This is often applied in the context of market basket analysis, where you look at customer purchases and analyze which products are likely to be uh, to uh, to be purchased uh, together or which groups of items are often purchased together and you will learn how to uh, implement uh, this technique how to how the algorithm uh, behind the scenes works because that is important for the interpretation uh, of the results and uh, you will then see how you can not only interpret but also visualize uh, the result to to make uh, product recommendations that are data driven uh, the second large area that we will dive into is dimensionality reduction, and uh, we'll see how principal component analysis, or PCA, uh, is very effective in extracting signals from noisy data and find a more uh, effective representation in lower dimensions, which is useful in many respects, all the way from visualization to getting better inputs for supervised learning um, algorithms. Um, so we'll uh, take a look at the technique itself at the linear algebra that it applies to achieve these results and then do a case study uh, with uh, consumer data in fact um, and how you can see associations and correlations among purchases that then allows you to uh, find a lower dimensional representation of your data. And the third big area is clustering uh, which allows you to for instance uh, target your marketing strategies much better because you can, in a large number of distinct uh, consumers, you can find subgroups that are homogenous or similar to each other. And clustering algorithms are the way to go if you want to group uh, objects or items or observations together based on how similar they are given the features or the information that, that you have on them. So we'll take a uh, deep dive into the k-means algorithm, which is the most popular clustering uh, algorithm, so you learn how it works, visualize uh, how, how it proceeds, and how you optimize uh, the application. For instance, choosing how many clusters are actually the most effective representation of your data, so we'll explore all of these items in, uh, in great depth. So what are the goals of this course? Um, we want you to uh, really understand what the value of unsupervised learning is, uh, a field that has been growing in popularity and importance uh, very significantly over the last few years uh, because it allows you to discover hidden structure uh, in your data. You will be able to um, select and then apply some of the most important methods um, in this field for market basket analysis, uh, analysis to cluster um, observations or features <clears throat> and to reduce the dimensionality uh, of your data. And of course, uh, we play, uh, uh, pay great attention to how you interpret the, the results in fact and make sense of, of the results through visualization and as well as summary so you can communicate well what you're actually finding. What's necessary here to succeed? Uh, it would be, uh, it's, it's, it's necessary that you have experience with, with Python because all of the algorithms um, use, uh, use uh, various um, uh, ways to deal with data and to conduct the analysis. And, it would also help if you had prior exposure to supervised machine learning for more context, uh, because we make sometimes references to uh, to some some cases from that field. Generally, though, the most important thing is that you are curious and have a lot of interest um, in data. Looking forward to seeing you in the course.